local forecast starts now with Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. Quickly back in time because we haven't really had that much rain and I want to go back to show you the last 24 hours because some of us had some rain overnight into the morning hours. So this is Doppler radar estimated accumulated rain. So basically where uh, we're seeing some of the higher amounts rain amounts through the Cumberland Valley. That uh, includes much of Dolphin County, especially the southern, I'd say half of Dolphin County into Lebanon, really receiving the highest amounts. Areas in greens and the yellows, the blues, not quite as much. It, we're going to get to somewhere here in just a moment. Uh, so there's a reason why we're showing all of this, but some higher amounts, especially along 81 through the Cumberland Valley, about two inches of rain. You get up towards parts of northern Lebanon, about an inch, uh, of inch to an inch and a half of rain. So this was it's certainly the needed rainfall, uh, but others not doing very well. Those of us in Adams County, Gettysburg, this is for the month, a third of an inch, less than a half of an inch for Gettysburg and Waynesboro into Franklin County, Lidditz, Millersville, parts of Lancaster County, not even measuring an inch of rain. I point that out because the drought monitor always gets updated on a Thursday, and now we're moving into moderate drought conditions, southeastern Franklin County. The western half of Adams County. We get into a large portion of Lancaster, the eastern half of Lebanon County, areas that now are into moderate drought conditions. Everywhere else, more of a just abnormally dry conditions. So I just want to show you that. And also, much of Virginia and North Carolina now getting closer to drought conditions. And I would not be surprised if they do move into an official drought. Uh, given what we see moving into July. Currently now we're in the mid to lower 80s. We've got upper 80s though, Carlisle and Harrisburg. Let's zoom out. We're kind of tapping into this uh, comfortable. I don't like using cool this time of the year because if you're outside, it doesn't feel cool. It's certainly summery, but it's comfortable. That heat is not far away from us. That's what arrives as we move into the weekend, along with humidity. I want to just point out this weekend is going to be quite humid. We're going to be watching for storm chances on Saturday, but I want to get more specific on when we see those storm chances. So here we go into Friday, a nice day just like today. So if you really wanted a nice, comfortable day, Friday is a good one. We move into Saturday. Uh, most of Saturday, I think, is going to be dry but humid. There could be a stray storm or two during the late afternoon, evening hours, but notice how most storm activity, if we see any, best chances were overnight. So that's what I want to put for the weekend. Uh, best chance for storms would be overnight Saturday and early Sunday morning. Still hot and humid Sunday. Then we're comfortable again Monday, Tuesday. And then here we go again. I mean, what's you got to have a heat wave for the 4th of July, right? And we see that <laughs> exactly. happening starting next Wednesday. And I think that's going to last into the holiday weekend, too. All Thank right. you, Eric. Mm -hmm. Well, Prince.